All right. So today, <clears throat> I thought it would be cool to uh, go through rebuilding the engine, or at least diagnosing a problem with it. So, was out testing today, and uh, this happened. So I can hold the back of the engine, and you can still rotate the front without the back moving. And you can see, maybe see the crankshaft spinning in there. They've actually separated. So the back half from the front half, it's sheared it right in the middle. So we're going to take it apart. <clears throat> I've already loosened the flywheel screw and the oil pan screw. So go ahead and take the flywheel off. Just like that. Take your timing gear off. Don't forget where the timing spot is at. Next, you would unscrew the oil pan. Go ahead and pry that open. Once you get the oil pan off. I like to make sure that all the screws are sticking through the gasket just a little bit so it don't fall out. So go ahead and set the oil pan aside. Next, we'll take the camshaft out. The camshaft just lifts right out. This is what the camshaft looks like. So we'll set that aside. Next, we need to get the broken crankshaft out. So I always like to pry it out each lobe at a time, little bit by little bit. You can see it's just popped right out. So we'll go ahead and pull the whole crankshaft out. And we'll set the block aside. And this is what the crankshaft looks like. I mean, this thing is massive. So this is the size of my hand. And this is the crankshaft. It's longer than the size of my hand. So, this thing is a beast. You can see, shouldn't be able to do that. In fact, we could actually unscrew it. See that gap right there? But we're not going to do that. So, I'll show you how to take apart the crankshaft. It can only be assembled and taken apart one way. You got to start from the back. So, you take off, first, you take off the balancer, the bonnet balancer. It just comes right off like that. It comes with the bearing. There's a washer and everything as well. It comes with the hole assembly that comes right off. Next is the back lobe of the fourth piston. Have you noticed the way that this is designed? It's everywhere that there's an axle, more or less. There's a screw. There's a uh, screw going through it. And that's to increase the um, strength, right? So these are also tapered hexagonal keys. But anyway, the whole lobe should come off like that, and. It's kind of nice because everything's taller. It's just so good that it just stays together. You can just simply pull off the con rod if you'd like. Just like that. Uh, goes right back on. And then this is the little retainer for the con rod, the little spacer. Um, let me go ahead and pull that con rod off again real quick. So yeah, this is this has got four ball bearings in it per con rod. It's got two in the bottom. See there? Those are ball bearings. And it's actually got two in the top as well for the top of the piston. So talk about excessive. And I may, these actually aren't even that heavy. But I may tone these down to half that. And I may even just go back to using bushings for the uh, top of the piston. So anyway, put that back on. And we'll just set that aside. And that's one of the nice parts about this crankshaft is that you can just take it apart piece by piece and it just stays together. So you just take this whole part off. This is the front lobe of the uh, fourth piston. It comes with the bearing. Set that aside. So we're going to take off the rear lobe of the third piston, which is this yellow part of the crankshaft. Comes with the whole piston, the con rod, and everything. Just set that right on the side. 
Now this is the problem one. So go ahead and unscrew it completely. And why don't they take this one apart? Take the little part. So you take this front spacer off. You take the bearing off. These are ceramic bearings. And then you take the rear spacer off. And then this is the blank crankshaft. This is a front lobe. <clears throat> it's got the counterweights in it. So since we're going to be replacing this, we got to remove the counterweights. We have to remove the screw that goes through the middle. And then there's a retainer, or there's a bolt right here, a nut right here, that's captured. So go ahead and get that out as well. Now this is ready to go in the trash. You can see it sheared the key off right there. So this is a, the same exact piece, but it's for the rear lobe. You can see there's a key there. That key got sheared off inside of this piece here. So go ahead and see if we can get this out too. There you go. So this all looks like it's still pretty solid and good. This front two pistons. So should just be able to print out this part again and rebuild it. So I uh, will uh, catch you guys later. We'll see it running again. By the way, this happened because I got the timing pretty good and I think it created a lot of power and so it just sheared the crankshaft again so uh, once I get it running I'll make another video of it and see you guys then. Peace.